and start. Okay, so LM is pain. LM. LM. It's a very easy word. So if you want as a doctor or as a patient or even as any person, like you can say, where's the pain? You can say, when the LM, the second bar. When the LM. When the LM. Where is the pain? Tamam? If you want to say, it hurts. This is a very common word. So people, rather than to say, I have pain in the LM, they would say, it hurts. Yawr. Yi awr yawr yawr. So if it hurts me, and this is it hurts me, is a very common word. Yawrni yawrni yawrni. So if you want to ask someone where it hurts, you can say when yawrik. Now the k it means it's uh, we're addressing this question to whom to Emil. If she's a female, then you would say where it hurts you. So you can say when يعورج. When يعورج. تمام? So if you have the, like the, especially the number four, يعورني, it hurts me. If you know the body parts, so for example, if you know what hands mean in Arabic, then you can say إيدي تعورني. Now, most of the body parts is either masculine or feminine. Okay, so sometimes it start with the yeah, and sometimes it start with the. But now, if you are a doctor, يعني don't focus a lot about this. Just to say يعور or يعورني. Okay, so مثلا, but أنا as a teacher, I have to tell to say the right one. So إيدي تعورني. It means my hand hurts me. راس راس يعورني. It means I have a headache. Like basically, my head hurts me. Stomach. If I want to say my stomach hurts me, then batni يعورني. تمام? So you as a doctor or as a, maybe working in the pharmacy, you can say when الألم, when يعورك, or as a nurse, when يعورك or when يعورج. تمام? Comments on. Is it clear so far? واضح? واضح واضح Yes, you can screen record I'll post also the, the same session on Instagram live and hopefully on YouTube as well. So you, it's accessible for you all the time. Tamam? Now again, comments off. Now for Ibra is injection. Ibra is injection. Injection. So if I want to say I'm afraid of the injection, then I can say أخاف من الإبرة. أخاف من الإبرة. تطعيم, vaccination. They speak a lot about this issue nowadays. So I thought it's a word that you need to know. Vaccination. تطعيم. 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 Okay. Dua is medicine. Dua. This is how the Emiratis pronounce it. Dua. But in Fusha is Dawa. Dawa. So Emirati or Khaliji way we would say Dua. Treatment is Ilaj. The medical treatment. Ilaj. Ilaj. Physiotherapy. It's Ilaj Tabi'i. Ilaj Tabi'i. So ilaj it not doesn't mean only treatment but also it means therapy so that's why for the physiotherapy it's ilaj tabi'i ilaj tabi'i now if you know more regular words like if you know the word appointment if you know the word when if you know with whom then you can add 
more questions like we am new العلاج الطبيعي اي دكتور في العلا... اي دكتور عند العلاج الطبيعي uh, مثلا you need a treatment يبالك علاج طبيعي you need physiotherapy so the more يعني you know words verbs the more then you can use it we have a lot of time uh, doctors coming they say we we, we need um, a course that is a special or a book that is special for doctors and we always say like any book could work in general because the main questions are in general but just you need to add more content related to the medical so to help you more to know this okay so again ibra from the beginning ibra for the injection tat'im dua ilaj ilaj tabi'i واضح واضح means clear is it clear واضح Great. Comments off. So now for doctor, we say doctor most of the time, but the, the Arabic word is tabib. Tabib. So whatever you are reading, you will always say tabib. So in Emirati Arabic, 50% we say doctor, 50% we say tabib. And if it's a female, then we say tabiba. Tabiba or doctora. Tabiba or doctora. Nurse, mumarrad. Mumarrad. Or if it's female, then it's mumarrada. Mumarrada. Mumarrad for male and mumarrada for female. Tamam, mumarrad. If you are a consultant, then استشاري. And this is for any consultant, not only for uh, medical. Consultant استشاري. استشاري. مثلا, you have an appointment with the consultant. عندك موعد ويا الاستشاري. Or you need to ask the consultant before. لازم تسأل الاستشاري. تمام? Patient, I hope I wrote the right, the right uh, spelling. Patient. مريض مريض patients as a plural مرضى مرضى مثلا if it's department then قسم المرضى قسم المرضى like patients uh, section or so مريض and مرضى plural clear طبيب ممرض استشاري مريض مرضى زين think it's clear that's good nurse gpr علاج طبيعي means physiotherapy علاج طبيعي تمريتا تمرينا تم i don't know what uh, you're writing but it's not okay so if you have any question because I can't read it uh, now because the background is white. So maybe we can keep it at the end. Okay, because it's very hard for me to read it now. Okay. 
Now, if you want to describe, if you're a doctor or a nurse, you want to describe the situation to the patient. You need, at the end of the day, you need to say the main things in Arabic. So if it is, it's a minor case, you don't want them to worry. It's just something simple. Simple case or minor case. So we say, Hala basita. Hala. Hala means like a case or a status. Hala. Hala basita. If it's not a minor case, so all what you need just to add the word mub. Mub. Mub hala basita. Mub hala basita. If it's a serious case, you can say hala khatira. Hala khatira. If it's not serious case, mub hala khatira. So if it's in between, <laughs> it's not serious or it's not minor, so you can say mub hala basita bas. مبحالة خطيرة مبحالة خطيرة تمام if you want to say like surgery is a must operation is a must so you can say لازم جراحة لازم the good thing about the word لازم it means must it means should it means have you have to do surgery or you must do surgery or you should do surgery in Arabic also the same in Emirati Arabic, so you say the word lazim, lazim jiraha, jiraha. So as a medical word, I don't know what's the difference between surgery and operation, but I know there is two words, so I put the same thing for the other word. Operation is amaliya, lazim amaliya, 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 lazim amaliya, and of course before you. Uh, as I see with the doctors, before they say if it's must or not, they will always, always ask you if you have insurance. So do you have an insurance? You can say, for a male, عندك تأمين, عندك تأمين. And for female, you need to say, عندك تأمين, عندك تأمين. تمام? You can also ask, since how many days? Min kam yom? So if you, this is like for consultation usually. Min kam yom? Min kam yom? Since how many days? If you want to say, is this the first time? So we ask just first time. Awal marra, like you're having, for example, the symptoms. Awal marra. If you want to say, do you have blood pressure or do you have um, diabetes? You say, indik. Sikari, عندك سكري عندك سكري عندك سكري If you want to say do you have blood pressure or عندك ضغط دم عندك ضغط دم It's not يعني when you say blood pressure usually like is it high blood pressure عندك ضغط دم. If you want to say he has to come back after one week or after one month, then it's up to you. You can say مراجعة. مراجعة means you have to come back. It's like basically it means revision. <laughs> مراجعة بعد أسبوع. Because it's, we are just said in English after one week. So مراجعة بعد أسبوع. So if you need, if you are a doctor, you need to know numbers. Numbers is very important for everyone. Days. Like you can come, for example, on Monday or Tuesday. Say Muraja Yom Lithnin. Like you come back on Monday. Or you can say the operation is on Monday. Al Ameliya Yom Lithnin. So numbers, name of the name of the days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You need to know also about the months. So one month, two months, three months, and how you say it. Those are things that is a must for doctors or nurses and for people who work in the pharmacy as well to know those words. And the last slide that we have for today, if you want them to feel relaxed, so you need to say like relaxing uh, phrases, like I will start from the last two, below one, the orange and the blue from down. لا تحاتي, don't worry. لا تحاتي, for a male. And for female, you can say to her لا تحاتين. لا تحاتين. مثلا don't worry it's not a serious case لا تحاتين مو بحالة خطيرة أو لا تحالين لا تحاتين هذه حالة بسيطة 
it's just a minor case or it's the minor thing okay so the more words you know the more that you can add and machu finshar machu finshar it means i know in english like the first that you can say hope you feel better soon get well soon so for us we do have many but what i have now is only one and yesterday i taught you another one which is salamat salamat it basically get well soon machu finshar literally it means you don't see an evil so i hope like this is not something serious machu finshar machu fi machu finshar the first one is for a male and the second one is machu finshar for female machu fin you see the picture yeah male and female machu finshar for female now what's the reply for this i will put the comments on what's the reply for this الشر ما what is the reply الشر ما يك الشر ما يك it means I hope the evil doesn't come to you the word شر literally it means evilness تمام الشر ما يك Now I can see you better. Tamam, so we're done for today. So if you are a doctor or if you are working in the pharmacy and you need more words related to the hospital, we have this book, Talk to Me in Emirati Arabic or Ramisni Emirati. It has almost um, six pages for medical. So you will know more words related to the hospital, to the pharmacy. Okay, so you see here, I know it's now, it's like a mirror. You don't see it, but this is mainly for the hospital. About the symptoms, about the lab, and for testing more about the sections and how to say don't worry and those kind of things tamam ahlan wa sahlan ta'ana min min america wa tkallam al-lugha al-arabiya ahlan wa sahlan this book is available in most of the bookstores like borders kunukonia magrudi and also we have it in Ramsa as online, as audio, and as hard copy. Mariz or Mariz? No, in Arabic we say Mariz. You need to make your tongue outside. Mariz. So the word consulting is istishara. The one that I said is consultant as a job title, istishari, but it comes from the same word, istishara. Istishara, istishara. The meaning of consulting. So what is the meaning of admission? We don't have the word, a yeah, special word for admission. We use the word enter. لازم يدخل المستشفى. He has to admit to the hospital. Or he has to go, we need admission. So we say دخول. لازم يدخل المستشفى. Basically, which means he has to enter the hospital. 